Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it will give you an insight into the configuration of multi websites in Odoo 50. With the help of website configurator in Odoo, a user can create more than one website for the company. From the same platform, you can systematically organize company operation online and manage website effortlessly. From start to finish, Odoo will give support to the users to build a new website step by step. So when you open the module, Odoo will display the e-commerce dashboard of your website. And this module contains various options in the main menu bar in order to ensure proper management of the backend activities of your website. So without any delay, let's discuss how to configure multi websites in your Odoo 15. For this, we need to select the settings option from the configuration menu. In the settings menu, we will get the select the website to configure tab where we can configure a new website for your company. So using the create a new website option, the user can easily create and design a new website. So a pop-up window will appear to mention the details regarding the website. Here we can define the website name, website domain and company in this window. So after clicking on this create button, Odoo will direct you to the website configurator platform where we can build and run a new website in four step. So this platform enables you to create new website as per your requirement and Odoo will give step by step instruction to the users about how to build a website so that they will not get confused during the website configuration. Even people with less knowledge in website creation can rely on this platform because it doesn't demand much design skill. So Odoo will assist you in the complete process of creating a website. So here we can provide a website name. So here we can click on the let's do it button and you can also skip this step by clicking on the skip and start from scratch button. And here the user can specify which type of website the company needs in this window. So the main purpose and objective behind starting a new website can also be mentioned here in this window. After specifying the type and objective of your new website, Odoo will help you to design the view of your website. So you will get a pre-made palette uh, to select one among them to make your website more attractive and pleasing for the visitor's eye. If you are not interested in the pre-made palette, Odoo can defect a new one from your website logo. For this, you can upload your logo in the given space and based on the uploaded logo, Odoo will detect a suitable palette for you. Next, you will get the option for different pages and features. So you can select pages and features uh, from this window as per your requirements. Then you can design the pages later using the edit option. Now we can click on the build my website button and by doing so Odoo will start to build your website as per the input given and it may take a few seconds to complete the process. Okay, uh, once the process is completed you can start designing the home page of your website here. So using the editing tools given on the right corner of the screen, you can design the home page. So by dragging and dropping, you can add the blocks to the screen. So here in this editing panel, you will get various type of blocks and you can use them as per your demand. So let's, let's explain this with the help of an example. So imagine uh, you want to add a title on your home page. So here in this list of blocks, you can find uh, the block for title. So you can just drag and drop the block to the required area. By doing so, you will get a new field on the screen to add the title. So you can simply enter 
the title as event and uh, when you select a block for your page uh, you will get uh, the options in the style field to style them so you can adjust the column background content width height visibility and the inline text using the style option so we can uh, change the background theme solid color and we can choose as a gradient here then here we can choose the content width uh, according to our wish that means it fit to the screen etc then here we can set the height and also we can set the visibility as always visible or conditionally and here the theme option can be used to customize the theme of your website so after completing all the editing we can use the uh, save button to save the changes and the home page of your website in Odoo will show a default menu that include various options to manage the pages inside them. And it is possible to edit all these menus and manage pages using the corresponding option from the pages menu. And here the customize option will help you to customize each page on this platform and using this editing button you can add new blocks and features to your website. And to manage the multiple website, the user will get a website switcher on the screen. So here we can see the website that I have created before. And this will help the user to switch between, between the website within a single click. So you will get the list of all the websites owned by your company and you can select website from here and manage them. And when you publish any content on your website such as product, product categories, blog, forums, events, job positions and many more, you can decide on which website you want to publish them. For example, we can go to the events module and check that. So while creating a new record for an event in the backend, you can mention the name of the website in the given field to publish the event only on that particular website. So here we can choose the website on which the event should be published. And if you want to publish the content on all your website, you can leave the field empty. So here we can see the unpublished event that can only be seen here in this website 001. So when we change the website here we can see that we can't see the event here. So the Odo 15 will provide great assistance in managing multi-website for the users in easy and simple steps. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.